thank you so much everyone for joining me all right so in this video i'm going to share with you a prophecy that was given pertaining to uh the funeral of Ginimbi. yes and this prophecy came out as something that is very urgent so i will appreciate it if you can also share it you know to many people as many people as possible right so that we avoid the similar situation that happened when another prophecy was given about Ginimbi, and those things came to pass only later on for people to start to question to say did the message get to the rightful paper people and this and that so i will appreciate it if you can share the video so that many people can hear about this prophecy yes now let's listen about uh, the funeral that is going to take place tomorrow for Genimbi, our our brother um who just passed away on sunday last week um there are a lot of things that uh, god has reviewed I believe um, maybe to other men of God, which I don't know, but I want to speak what I saw um, in the vision. Um, I'm seeing um, drama. I'm seeing news after the funeral. There will be another news of crying and um, there will be happenings that uh, people who are attending the funeral need to be so much alert and um, attentive. You see, I saw um blood again i saw blood you know i saw um shootings uh, you know um you know i saw there's need for security there's need for security and i wish they can know they cannot allow um, beer drinking but we saw we saw um you know um himself a genius being a person who loved departing and drinking but I pray that people who are going to drink there, you know, God can give them the grace and not to, you know, to be careless in doing one or two things. All right. Because I saw um, during the night, during the night, tomorrow, Friday, people will be driving and they'll be, you know, speeding. I saw accidents again and the people will talk more after the funeral. They will talk more about the funeral and uh there will be the calling names. There will be the calling of names. There will be this and that. So what am I talking about after prayer? Um, we are telling people, everybody who is going to gather to the funeral, it's not a bad thing to gather at the funeral, all right? But, it, you know, um, it's better you, you don't drink and drive. It's better you don't drink and drive, all right? And... Um, I'm telling you, there will be a massive stories. There will be a lot of things that will happen. Okay, there will be fights. I saw fights at the funeral. Confusion at the funeral. And I saw a car bumping each other. This is accident. And I saw blood in the funeral happening in Zimbabwe for a genius. So we are praying for our brothers and sisters who are going to mourn tomorrow that let the Spirit of God just come and protect everybody who's going to come there, all right? Because I saw ladies fighting. I saw ladies fighting. And I saw um, changing of words, changing of words, insulting each other. I saw just a confusion from nowhere. And I saw people, you know, doing things that they never wished to do. This is what will be happening tomorrow. Um, in Zimbabwe at the funeral of uh, Jinimbi. Um, let's just pray for them that uh, he can rest in peace. And um, what is important is forgive and forget. And also, uh, let's not judge. God knows. Let's not judge. Let's not conclude things. God knows better. So I love everybody. And um, let's keep praying. Let's keep praying for them. Let's keep on praying. Let's keep on praying. Otherwise, there's something that will come out that will shake and the people will talk more. Something will come as people. There will be so much that is going to happen that you never expected. But we are praying that God can give people grace. God can, people, can give people grace, especially those who are in Zimbabwe. They are planning to, to go to the funeral of um, um, Brother Genius and make sure that they hear what God is speaking. People must be careful. We have seen in the spirit the bad thing that is going to come out. 
there will be a lot that will happen. And if people are not careful, many can die and die again. So we need to pray because it is my duty, it is your duty to stand and pray. God bless everybody. This was a message. I'm just from the prayer room and I said, let me speak this. I'm talking about the funeral of Jinimbi. This is a Zimbabwean billionaire who died in a car accident on Sunday last week in the morning when he was coming out from a party and he died. A lot of questions, a lot of things have happened. But you see, God knows, so let's not judge. But I was talking about what is going to happen tomorrow, Friday night to Saturday as they are burying him. I, I saw drama. I saw news. I saw uh, misunderstanding. I saw fights at the funeral. All right? I saw fights. And I saw people that you have never seen in life attending that funeral. And you'll be asking questions. Where is this one coming from? Where is this one coming from? And from there, I saw accident again. Accident again happening. So people who are attending the funeral, please, I pray that perhaps you don't just drink. Attend the funeral. Message. Uh, those who will be attending the funeral, be in prayer. We are praying for you. And we pray that God will protect everybody who is going with a good motive to mourn the brother. But be careful and watchful because anything can happen at that funeral. Anything can happen at that funeral. All right? Anything can happen. I say anything because I saw a lot of beers and people drinking recklessly, people driving and moving. I saw different expensive cars at the funeral that you've never seen before. And I saw people that you've never seen before attending the funeral. What is this? Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a warning to somebody that be careful, be alert, attend the funeral, and don't be excited for nothing. Don't be excited. Don't be too much excited. Because you don't know. Maybe you are the target. May God bless you. Shalom. All right. So we have heard what the prophet has said. Like they said, um, the wise listen when the prophet speaks, yes, yeah, so uh, we have been told what to do, to pray and also to avoid drinking a lot, you know, do whatever you can do, you know, the rest is for God, just to pray to God for genesis, for whatever is going to be happening there, just to pray for protection, you know, avoid all these uh, confrontations and, and other things, just protect yourself, you know, the word has been spoken, also the you know uh to how to overcome it's also been narrated that you need to be careful don't drink and drive don't be involved in fighting just take care of yourselves and pray a lot pray to god for protection cover yourself with the blood of jesus christ whatever you can do you know what you can do okay whatever but my name is ziki and for those of you who are new to the channel why not subscribe and stay until then please stay in peace and pray